ഹായ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വെൽക്കം ടു എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഗ്രാഫിക്സ് ക്ലാസ് ഞാൻ ഡോക്ടർ വിനോദ് കുമാർ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഓൺ ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ പൈപ്പ് ബെൻഡ് വി ആർ ഗിവൺ എ പൈപ്പ് ബെൻഡ് അസ് ഷോൺ ഇൻ ദിസ് ഫിഗർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി എം എം ഡയമീറ്റർ എ പൈപ്പ് ബെൻഡ് ഈസ് ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് എൻ എൽബോ ബട്ട് എൽബോ ബി ക്യൂസ് എ ഷാർപ്പ് ബെൻഡ് വേർ എസ് പൈപ്പ് sharp turn whereas a pipe bent gives a smooth turn why do we provide smooth turn in pipe joints that is to prevent considerable loss of energy when the fluid is flowing if the joint is if the turn is sharp the fluid coming through one pipe will hit the other end and then turn by hitting it loses energy right when it is a pipe bent that virtual hitting doesn't take place it smoothly flows there will be loss of energy but it will be minimized agree okay? that's the purpose of using a pipe bent so in this pipe bent there's a circular pipe coming here a circular pipe coming here and they are connected with the help of a pipe bent the pipe bent will have a circular extension to this side purely circular straight and a purely circular straight extension in this side also that part we are ignoring we are considering only the turning part turn part agree okay? now the dimensions are 50 mm diameter 50 mm diameter with this distances 20 20 the legs on the two sides 20 20 all in millimeters sir now we divide it into eight equal parts how do we divide 90 degree this is total 90 degree you divide it to 45 degrees each and then we draw angular bisectors and subsequently we can divide them into eight equal parts the development of pipe bend is a little bit of approx approximation technique it cannot be perfectly made but it is an approximation technique this sort of pipe bends are fabricated mainly in air conditioning ducts they are fabricated with the help of aluminum foils when the cooled or hot air is passing or taking a turn of 90 degrees agreed so we are going to divide this into eight equal parts and then make some sort of approximation this is what we are going to draw listen draw listen carefully in this first piece this is piece 1 piece 2 piece 3 piece 4 piece 5 piece 6 piece 7 piece 8 okay in the first piece you draw a vertical line here a vertical line here at this point we draw a vertical line at this point also we draw a vertical line the vertical line is drawn at this point and we make an extension there get a point there this we consider as piece 1 piece 1 then at this point we draw a tangent to this arc this much of arc we draw a tangent at this arc this point get a straight line there draw a tangent at this point also sorry where is the tangent drawn tangent is drawn at this point so that you get get it meeting here and meeting here this big piece we mark as piece 2 so piece 2 is of double size as this 2 then you draw a tangent there i'll change the color for clarity draw a tangent here this point and a tangent at this point it meets here and it meets here this is extended so this is taken as piece 3 agree then we draw a tangent at this point and a tangent at this point so that we get another piece called piece 4 then what then we draw one more tangent rather you got a horizontal line here and a horizontal line here this is piece 5 
So piece 1, piece 2, piece 3, piece 4, piece 5. Piece 1 and 5 are identical. Piece 2, 3 and 4 are of double the size. Agreed? Then we cut this elbow, I mean pipe, uh, pipe bend here along this joint, along this joint, along this joint and along this joint. And keep the first piece on the ground. The first piece vertically here. Piece one. Then you cut this piece here and keep it this side there and that side here. So it comes like this. Piece 2, this piece, this side is brought on this side, this side is brought on that side. Piece 2, then you cut piece 3, smaller side here and bigger side here so that it comes like this. Piece 3, then what? Piece 4, big side here, small side here, comes like this. Piece 4, then you cut Keep the fifth piece bigger, bigger side, this side here and this small side here. It becomes piece 5. Two small pieces and three big pieces. Okay, what is it? It is nothing but a cylinder. It is nothing but a cylinder. This is its plan. Cut into how many pieces? How many cutting blades? Cutting blade 1, cutting blade 2, cutting blade 3, cutting blade 4. You have to divide this into 12 equal parts and draw all the geometers in the elevation, just like what you have been doing in uh, cylinders. Draw the total development of the cylinder. What is it? It's a big rectangle. It's a big rectangle. We have got all the generators here. Reproduce all the generators here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, A dash, G dash, M dash, U dash. You have to mark all generators. I have not done that. Then in the development, what do you have to do? What do you have to draw? You have to draw or mark A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, A, M, N, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, M. Then you have to produce or draw horizontal lines and get the points in those respective generators. The first will come here. It will be there also. The curve will come something like this. The second one will come something like this. The third one and finally the fourth one Agreed? These cutting planes are reproduced in the development. We can name them 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and so on so that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 12. Repeat the same thing. The development of cylinder we are very familiar with. We have drawn it several times. So these are all that is to be picked up in this problem is the bend is made into the form of a cylinder with the help of cut by 4 cutting planes and all those cutting planes are reproduced in the development of a cylinder.
may consume some time because all these points have to be transferred. But once you know the concept, the mechanical process of drawing can be drawn, uh, you, uh, done very quickly. The more you know, the faster you do, isn't it? I hope it is clear. If you have got any doubt about cutting a cylinder, you can refer the video development of cylinder, basic problem development of cylinder. In development of surfaces, the first few problems you can refer in the case of a cylinder. This is clearly explained. When a cutting plane cut all the generators in a cylinder, how we draw the development. It is clearly explained in those videos. I hope you understand. Draw and learn. It is better to divide it into always as many number of pieces as possible. The more the larger the number of small divisions you make, better will be the curve and better will be the total development. I hope you understand. Thank you.